Hey guys, this is your cat ice queen. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Dominican doobie. Whoop, whoop. Oh my god, I'm so excited to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how to do a doobie for the sole purpose of wearing a wig. If you enjoyed this video, give me thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for my upcoming videos, don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. Otherwise, stick around. See you in a bit. Bye, Felicia. Felicia! I am going to show you today how to do a Dominican tubi with bobby pins. For this, you will need a tail comb of your liking. I like the metal one, but you can use any kind you like. But I'll make it easier for you. And I have the wig cap. I like these ones better because I'm going to be using bobby pins. I find that with these guys, um, my hair is not touching my wig and also my bobby pins are not getting caught on things. All right, guys, let me show you my broom. I oh, know crazy isn't it <clears throat> so a to b is a perfect system to keep your hair completely straight if that's what you're going for or if you are using wigs is to keep your hair pretty much just very slicked onto your scalp and it will prevent your hair from coming loose and just in case you get into a fight and you know that way is not coming off or you know if it's windy outside and pff, it's not gonna blow off I honestly, I like to part my hair on the side for those that will be doing or trying this at home. It doesn't matter. I like doing it on my left side. That's just because it makes it easier for me to kind of go this way. So let me show you. As you go, just make sure you are pressing down onto your hair. I'm also applying some bobby pins on the back here. And I am molding it as I go, so my hand never really leaves until I have enough control over the hair. Do your thing, ma. So now that I get here towards the middle, I usually can remove my hand completely up to you if you want to keep your hair in that there and then now that we are here this is the trickiest part because there's so much hair on there what you want to do is you want to go over the ear and push it up and mold it as you go keep your hand there because now look at this and I like to just clip it right here in the middle just to give me a little bit of control as I go So now that I feel like it is a little bit tight, now I'm just gonna go and make sure that those areas that are not completely covered are covered now by bug pins, or else you're gonna have hair just sticking out like I do right now. And you wanna add some to the back and some to the front. hair on this so right now I'm just making it as tight as possible if you were doing this just to keep your hair straight um, you don't have to use the bobby pins if you don't want to but I honestly suggest using them so that your hair is not falling apart in the middle of the night when you're sleeping with it and I'm crazy I like using a lot of bobby pins the more, the better. I am also going to tell you a secret about these wig caps. The reason why I don't use the ones with the big holes is because the bobby pins will get trapped in there and that's 
pretty messy. I don't like that. The key is not to let your hair touch the wig. Again, you have natural oils in there and that's going to pretty much ruin your wig over time. Not to mention you're gonna have to wash it more. So this separates my hair from my wig. Not to mention when I wear this to sleep, this little holes trap the ends of my hair, the ones that are sticking out. And if I have um, broken ends or split ends, they're gonna go through and once I take this off, those split ends are gone. So pretty much they get trapped in here and bye bye split ends let me show you so this is really really easy to apply I mean to put on now that we are done I'm going with a darker wig today so I want to make sure that my hairline is completely slicked back as you can see there and that we are not seeing this area here from my wig cup. So this is the wig that I'm gonna be using. Mine has a comb clip at the back that I can clip right here. The amazing thing about this too, when you do wear um, wig cups and bobby pins when you do your tubi is that this gets trapped in there. It's not going anywhere. So I usually put my head down and then I clip it here. Once I do that, I make sure that this part here in the front is right at the middle. So this is the best way I could possibly make my wigs look natural. Since my hair is just very pretty. If you love this video, give me thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for my upcoming videos, just let me know and leave me a comment on the comment section. Love you guys. Have an amazing day. Ciao. Okay, turn off.